It's way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. I am here. New Mano. Are you sure? Yeah. And Loopy is here also. <laughs> we should have played that dope. for you, Mano. Doze off. I know. You just dozed off. And by the way, this brings me to our first Yee T story. Little Dirk was just released from the hospital. He reportedly was suffering from severe dehydration and exhaustion. Yeah. Sneak right up on you. You don't even know. Right. Dangerous. And he was there, really, initially he thought it was minor, but then doctors realized it was a bigger issue. That's why he missed a bunch of different things. He was mm. supposed to be at the ESPYs, but he did say, my fans mean everything to me. You're the reason why I do this. I was looking forward to touching all of my European fans, performing this weekend, attending the ESPYs and more. But after performing and traveling daily, I become severely dehydrated and advised by my doctors not to travel due to exhaustion. Mm. Yeah, exhaustion, that's tough. Yeah, it's real. Remember Mariah right Carey had yep. that issue? A lot of people, because you, you jump in from plane to car to venue to show to Mano is still interview. just come back. Just so you know, he just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tap him. Yeah. You know how you don't want to wake people up? I was like, Mano, we got to go up. But Mano will fall asleep sitting up with his arms crossed. In the middle of a conversation. It, yes, mid-combo. All right, now let's talk about this new interview that is uh, going to be out today. Uh, it's a Drake interview, and he was interviewed by this woman, Bobby Althoff. She's like a TikTok star. She shows a lot about her family on social media. Mm. I remember she went viral talking about breastfeeding, and, and her breasts were lopsided from it, and she tried to put an avocado on one side. Really? She's like a funny So she took, the baby social, took more milk out of one. Uh, I don't know why it happens. I can't say that. Oh, wow. But um, I will say that she has this interview, and she put out a teaser for it where she sat down with Drake, and her interviews is kind of like a, I guess like a Z-Way type of vibe. Where, awkward. Yeah, kind of awkward. Try humor. So here is a piece of that. Okay. Do you have any other questions Not for me? Not really. Probably best you get out of home to be Are mother of the year, right? Are you going to buy me a flight home? Are you going to buy me a flight home? I can do that. It's the least I could do. Can it be nonstop? Is, was that like a the song? <laughs> what song? The Drake song, nonstop. Do you think it's funny when you reference your own song? No, I thought People you... People can use that word and it doesn't mean your song. <laughs> I just thought that you were ending the interview on a note where you were like, uh -huh. haha, I actually do know your songs. No. <laughs> <laughs> so she don't know his songs. No, I guess not. And you have to probably see the whole interview. I saw she had a, a interview with... Um, with um, Armani. Funny Marco. Yeah, Funny Marco, yeah. too. So, and they're, you know. It's like funny, awkwardish yes. interviews. Yes, and how great to land a Drake interview, too, by oh, the way. that's huge. For yeah. her, so. I'm going to check that out. All right, and Dr. Dre recently was with Kevin Hart for his Heart to Heart series on Peacock, and he talked about making The Chronic and how it wasn't even his decision. No idea what the f I'm going to do. I just know I have this talent, and I've been developing these skills, and a close friend of mine, we call him DOC, talked me into doing the Chronic album. Mm -hmm. I went in there and I went. Wow, so it wasn't even a great was, decision. No, it wasn't my decision. I was talked into doing that. Okay. Yeah, I just went in there and went for it because I felt like at that time it was a life or death situation. This record is going to determine whether, whether I'm going to stay in the studio or not. Mm, chronic. Right. It, paid off it worked out. Shout it out to the off. DOC. Mr. Buster. You know who I said the BET Awards? Warren G. Really? Yeah, I love Warren G. I like Warren G. Homie. Yeah, shout out to him. All right. Uh, Laurie Harvey is shutting down rumors that she's dating Quavo. Now, there was a rumor that they were in the same restaurant having lunch together, and she responded to those rumors. There was a TikTok video that somebody posted wondering if she now is dating Quavo, and she said, no, I was having lunch with my besties who oh, are right behind me. She not with the guy no more? Dancing Idris. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought they were together, but then I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the story I went and looked at both of their pages. Right. And it no didn't pictures. appear unless they just archived them and put it back, but I don't know. It appears like they're not together. That's just from looking at social media, because sometimes you can't tell, but it feels like things were kind of cleared off. Really? Already? But I don't know. Damn. I can't I, say. I didn't right? last longer but, than that. Really? <laughs> With who? <laughs> What, one time? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. All right. Well, that is your UT. And when we come back, you know it's a Friday, so you know what that means. It's New Music Fridays. Let's get it. And so we'll be telling you what you could be listening to over the weekend, who has new projects out, new singles, all of that. There's definitely a Quavo and Future song. That timing would have been amazing. Um, that's actually out today. And... Uh, Future still seems like he has some things to get off his chest. Future it's way talking. up with Angela Yee. Talk. Way up.